What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Infinite Magic Raid, right? and today we're going to be talking about the new hero that should be going live tonight, Megan. We might also talk about the epic hero, we will see, but Megan is the main highlight here because she is the brand new legend hero. This is the first hero that we've seen in game since the beta has ended that is a new hero. Now she is a forester, she's an attack, she's of the red, fa red mark. She seems good. She has AoE damage. She has devastating single target damage, and she has a brand new ability added to the game called Law that we'll go over here in just one second. So make sure you guys take one second, hit that subscribe button. I apologize for uh, not that many videos yesterday. I've been dealing with internet outages and stuff like that due to the storms here in Florida, so bear with me, but today we're back. We're going to be doing a lot of testing, and I can't wait to build Megan. So let's go over the skill card right now. Okay, so let's go over her skills because they are very, very strong. So starting off, of course, she is a legend hero that's coming to the game. Uh, she's going to be in the Foresters faction. She's attack and she is a mark. Let me scoot this over just a little bit, center it a little bit for us. Let's go over her ability, starting off with her first attack, Spear Throw. So this one here deals attack damage to a single enemy with a 30% chance to inflict inferior severe wound for two turns. So essentially what that does is it lowers the restoration rate of the enemies which can actually be helpful in a lot of different game modes uh, and then if this attack lands a crit there is a 30 percent chance to inflict a severe wound so it's basically just a more jacked up stronger version of the inferior severe wound very very solid her next ability is charge spear so this deals three stages of attack damage to all enemies so an absolutely awesome devastating aoe damage ability with a 25 percent chance to reduce their defense by 30 percent or their tenacity by 30 percent for two rounds while also gaining stealth for herself so not only is she just dishing out tons of damage she then goes into stealth mode so she can't be specifically targeted and damaged down because it might be a good idea too if you can because her uh, her main active ability is really really devastating Moving on to her passive, Law of the Jungle. So all allies additionally gain 8% crit rate whenever Megan survives. That's very good. When multiple skills uh, increase this attribute, only the strongest one will take effect. Megan gains one layer of Law, which is that new ability we talked about, up to five layers, which increases her crit rate by 5% whenever the enemy target dies so the one thing with law this is it like a inherent uh, ability it cannot be removed it cannot be stolen from her so no matter what she retains this crit rate which means she's going to be absolutely amazing with a crit crit rate armor set or combination of some sort uh, very very strong heavily dependent on crit rate because let's look at her last ability uh, down here, the Piercing Spear. This is her last active ability, and this one is amazing. So it increases her crit rate by 50% for two turns, then deals attack damage to a single enemy with an additional 30% pierce rate. That's really good because that's getting past the defense of the enemy right there. This attack ignores immortal and damage immunity, which, oh my god, we finally have something to bust through those really annoying immortals. Whether we're talking about Tower of Mark, Campaign, anything. Uh, if you're trying to get three stars on different levels, but that immortality or damage immunity is just pushing you over the round limit for the third star. It's really annoying. So this is by far like a crazy, crazy thing finisher ability it is super strong deals tons of damage but beyond that we need to talk about her exclusives so the exclusives are very strong as well jungle spear is her exclusive weapon level one spear throw which if you guys remember is just her basic attack the first one up there with the uh severe wounds reduces the cooldown of piercing spear her big attack by one turn when you land a crit so again a ton of synergy with crit rate this spear throw is just gonna be the basic that she's gonna be up pretty much a lot of the time here 
but by getting multiple turns off and of course maybe even pairing her with some people that have some turn timer enhancements like space uh this could be really good because the more attacks you get with this basic attack especially against a single target boss means even more damage so i think the fact that she can really pump out tons of these piercing spear attacks might be good as a pve boss damage dealer as well level two goes megan gains one layer of a lot when the turn ends up to 10 layers I mean, that's pretty amazing because by default, she gains one layer up to five layers, increasing it. So that's 25%. This is going to increase it all the way up to a total of 50% additional crit rate. I mean, heck, honestly, you could run a full, like if, if you're confident enough for like your a very long battle, you could almost run just a pure crit damage build without much crit rate built into it and just rely on your crit rate to come from law. And then in combination with Piercing Spear, that could just be a devastating attack. Like, so much crit chance coming just from her abilities or crit rate. Maybe don't even build her with crit rate on her gear and just let, sh let her accumulate it throughout the battle and go straight up crit damage and just annihilate the enemies or attack crit damage or something like that that could be really really, really good and then lastly at level three piercing spear her main active ability here additionally increases crit damage the lower the target's hp the higher the crit damage bonus so again this could be very good against bosses where as you're slowly working to the later rounds they're ramping up their damage they're about ready to one shot your team you're doing more and more damage and if you can knock them out that would be absolutely amazing uh, exact skill numbers, of course, are subject to change, but my goodness, this hero looks absolutely busted amazing. This is going to be our first ever wish event too, the wish summoning event. Did I use it? miracle wish wish? Yeah, no, not wish. Miracle, miracle summons, there we go. I gotta get all the terminologies down. I'm messing them up in my own head, but I can't wait to build this hero. So of course, because of when the servers reset and we get new heroes and events, it's like 10 p.m. Eastern time for me. So it's kind of too late to do a live stream right as the event goes live to build the hero and tester. But we might do a live stream tomorrow. Otherwise, look out for videos. I'm definitely going all in on her. So you're gonna see a ton of miracle summons and then you're also gonna get to see we build her up. Hopefully we can get take her all the way up to max. That's, that's the goal. And just build her up. Try to get all of her emblems done. All that fun stuff. And just go absolutely crazy with her. Because I really do think she can be an absolutely amazing boss damage dealer. Among a lot of other things. So let me know what you guys think about Megan. Like I said, sorry about yesterday, guys. We had a lack of videos. I'm really trying to pump out three to four videos daily because there's just so much in Infinite Magic Raid that I want to talk about right now. And I am having a blast playing the game. Yeah, it's pay to win. We're going to start a free to play account, though. Don't worry. I love experiencing every one of these games free to play, pay to win. In the beta, I basically played it full free to play. And I had a blast. So let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel or just returning. And you haven't done it just yet. And I'll see you guys next time.